Today, we're going to pit two of the budget na tablets na feel ko would be a nice matchup here on my channel. And I have here on my left is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, one of the best seller na tablet from Samsung. Ang dami bumili nito for online classes and for online usage, for office and for at home. On the other hand, ito bagong kalalabas ng Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 is a good matchup to fight against the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. I-determine natin after this video kung sino nga ba dapat mong piliin. Ito ba? Or ito? Simulan muna natin. Hi guys! Ako pa sa Richmond ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. Ito, nasa kaliwa ko, is Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. And here on my right is the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. So let's just start with a simple unboxing para makita natin kung ano nga ba ang laman nila and who among the two gives you a better unboxing experience. So itabi muna natin itong isa. Let's start with the Galaxy Tab A8. So kita dati, we have here is the 4 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage. And this one is the LTE variant. And I'll be telling you the price in a little while. Buksa muna natin. Kita natin, no? meron siyang parang medyo uh, gamosa na lalagyan to protect this one. So, pulling out, we have here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. And what we have here is the color gray. And kita natin here is the camera module at the back. And meron siyang breaking line no? between yung katawan niya and one of the sides. Right now, tinan natin what's the other things inside the box. We have some manuals and Samsung Care Plus. We have your headset. We have your SIM injector tool. We have your Type-C cable. And of course, a 7.5 watts na charging brick. 7.5 watts. I think the minimum na this day sa kikita ko mostly 10 watts. Pero this is just a 7.5 watts. And that's about it for the unboxing ng Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. So recall muna natin si Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. So this is the package na meron natin, no? And what I have here is the premium one. And this is the 4 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage. Now, makasusurprise kayo dito, no? Ang ganyan package, it comes with a folio cover. So, taking out, there's one box here, which is the MatePad itself. And there's another box here, which is the folio cover. So, this is just made for the MatePad SE 10.4. So, buksan muna natin folio cover, no? By the way, guys, uh, si Samsung doesn't come with a case, no? But this one, may pa-case pa si Huawei as a freebie or let's just say package. So, kita dati, this is how it looks like. Color blue. And it looks nice and premium mo kanyang feel, ha? And here's the Huawei print on the side. So, I won't be using this anymore. Makita nito sa aking full review. Link up here. Okay, so buksan muna natin to. So, here you can see the MatePad SE and this is the, of course, our variant. At the back, kita mo yung mga some quick specs. On the side, well, pretty clean. Buksan natin. And normally, it's a plastic na lalagyan from Huawei. Unlike kay Samsung, no? medyo may pagkagamo sa feel pa. This is how it looks like here at the back for Huawei. And here's the camera module. Nakita natin, no? same sila ni Samsung, may breaking beat or breaking line. But mas makapal nga lang kay Huawei. So we have here this card na standard normally sa mga Huawei packages, how to find apps sa App Gallery. Of course, if you want to know how to install apps from the App Gallery and from Gbox, check my full review of the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. natin other things inside the package. We have here your 10 watts charger. Buti pa to 10 watts, no? Okay, Samsung 7.5. SIM injector tool, warranty guide, and user manual. And of course, yung charging cable, Type-C. So what's missing here is wala siyang kasama headset. But of course, may folio case ka naman in view of the headset. But better, definitely better ang uh, folio case. Now, pagdating sa unboxing experience, both of them gave me almost the same unboxing experience. Probably I'll give it to Huawei for the better experience dahil meron siyang kasama folio case. So, para hindi tayo mag-confuse, on my left would always be Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 and on my right would always be the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. Now, tira muna natin ang kanyang dimension. So, both of them looks almost the same but if pinagtabi mo sila, ginawa ko sandwich, no? What I can say is si Huawei is a fraction smaller than the Samsung. But if you take a look at it side by side, 
parang si Huawei is a little bit thicker. Pag nilapag mo siya sa table, I can say na just a, a, siguro 1mm thicker lang si Huawei. Not really a big deal. Both, no, pagdating sa design, mas round si Huawei and mas edgy si Samsung. Now, taking a quick look dito sa ilalim, si Samsung, it has the uh, audio jack here sa baba, dual speaker, and of course, a Type-C charging port. Si Huawei naman, mas rounded na ganyan edge. You have speakers sa ilalim, and of course, ang kanyang Type-C port. Nandito rin kanyang uh, SIM tray. Now, on this side, malinis na kay Huawei and si Samsung, and dyan ang kanyang uh, SIM card slot. Now, on top, iba na naman itsura. Si Samsung, and dyan kanyang speakers, and of course, the noise cancelling mic. While si Huawei, nandiyan ang kanyang audio jack and of course, ang kanyang speakers. Medyo iba rin ang orientation nila. No? Sa, nasa taas ang power button ni Samsung and volume rocker sa baba. Then of course, your microphone here. Meanwhile, si Huawei, baliktad. Volume rocker na sa ibabaw. Then sa ilalim is power button and then there's the microphone. Same naman placement nila ng camera module. Mas kanto lang kay Huawei. And kanyang front-facing camera is always on the right. Pag pinortrate mo, of course, nasa ibabaw. Now, for demonstration purpose, gagawin natin nakatayo siya, both, para madali sa ating makita. No? Now, ito itsura ng both tablet. I can say na halos symmetrical naman ng kanilang mga ano, bezels. No? It's good. It looks good. And what I can see is almost the same lang naman kanilang screen size. Now, si Huawei meron sa 10.4 inch na IPS LCD. Meanwhile, si Samsung meron sa 10.5 inch na IPS LCD. Si Galaxy Tab is a little bit brighter lang at 400 nits. Si Huawei is, well, mas mahina lang kote at 360 nits. Now, there's a clear advantage naman kay Huawei dahil si Huawei can display up to 2K display. It has higher PPI at 225 PPI. Meanwhile, si Samsung, it can only display up to 1080p and 216 PPI. I'll show you some photos later and some video rundown. Para makita natin na side-by-side dyan, no? And by the way, guys, ang Huawei Maypad SE, ang kanya 2K display is having a low blue light certificate from TUV Rainland. So, meaning you can use this for longer hours without hurting your eyes. Pag tinignan mo sila, no? Almost symmetrical lang sila. But pag tinignan mo on the spec sheet, ang kanya screen-to-body ratio, si Samsung having 80% to screen-to-body ratio, si Huawei Maypad SE has a better na screen-to-body ratio at 83%. Both of them has 60 hertz of screen refresh rate. Now, pagdating naman sa weight, si MatePad SE is a little bit lighter at 450 grams. Meanwhile, si Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 is heavier at 508 grams. So guys, right now, we're playing the same video here on both tablets. So this one, si Samsung is running at 1080p. Si Huawei is running at 2K display. Now, makita natin no, na yung definition na binibigay sa atin ni Huawei MatePad SE is definitely better. And I can say, mas matingkat ang kanyang colors na. Even though na mas lower ang kanyang brightness, but na-offset naman siya immediately doon sa kanyang 2K display. Dahil 2K display is definitely better. And mas makikita mo yung mas maganda kanyang definition while you're watching uh, videos like this one. And it shows. Lalo na, no? If you're uh, medyo mat meticuloso kapag dating sa details, no? I think the Huawei MatePad SE would give you better na definition and resolution as compared dito kay Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. So pagdating sa display, there's no doubt in my mind that I'll be giving it to Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. And as well as yung colors, makita mo mas, a little bit mas natural content dito kay Huawei MatePad SE. Now, ito ay tsura naman niya while you're using it on landscape mode of both tablets. Let's try lang natin mag-swipe dito sa both tablet no on social media uh, preferably is TikTok and Facebook Messenger. Yan natin no kung sino yung maglalag. So both are performing naman na uh, okay. I don't see naman na may naglalag pagdating sa ano no, sa swiping. Kasi pag yung process of Mars medyo mahina, makita mo parang naiipit siya along the way. But both of them I don't see any problem sa both devices. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 is being powered by the Unisoc Tiger T618. It's a 12 nanometer chip, while the si Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 is being powered by the Snapdragon 680, which is a 6 nanometer chip. Now, if we're looking at some benchmark dito, uh, comparing both of them, 
si Huawei has a slightly better na score dito sa Geekbench. And of course, uh, it's needless to say dahil a 6 nanometer chip is definitely way better than a 12 nanometer chip. Plus, this one is a Snapdragon and this one is a Unisoc Tiger. I mean, medyo malayo ang comparison. No? It's just like, uh, medyo unfair ang, ang comparison between those two chips. So, definitely, si Huawei has the better chipset inside. Now, if you're looking at yung kanyang color, pagdating sa white though, definitely mas whiter dito kay Huawei as compared dito kay Samsung. Now, right now, I'll be putting both devices to the max. Tira lang natin kanyang, ano no? How white is white for both devices na. So, yeah, it turned out to be mas maputi pa rin si Huawei kahit anong gawin mo. Both nakasagad ng kanyang maximum brightness. So, definitely mas maputi dito kay Huawei. Now, si Samsung is running inside Android 11 and supporting the One UI Core version. Meanwhile, si Huawei is having the Harmony OS 3.0. Now, both of them naman, okay naman ang experience ko while using both of these uh, tablets. Okay naman, not too much bloatwares and very easy to navigate naman sila both. So, both, I don't have much problem with it. Now, both of these tablets has different battery size. Si Samsung having a 7,040 mAh of battery. Si Huawei having 5,100 mAh of battery. It's a far cry na mas malaki ang, of course, yung... Uh, battery size ni Samsung as compared kay Huawei. Now, pagdating naman sa charging, si Samsung 7.5 watts, si Huawei 10 watts. Si Samsung takes forever to charge, around mga 3 hours and 10 minutes bago natapos from 0 to 100. Meanwhile, si Huawei took me around mga 2 hours and 15 minutes to complete from 0 to 100. So, malayo ang kanilang charging time. But of course, dahil it has the extra 2,000 mAh, definitely, it will take while. Now, taking a kanyang battery endurance test, si Huawei can give you around 8 hours na screen on time. Si Samsung can give you around 9 hours of screen on time. Now, having that extra 2,000 mAh of battery, it can only give you 1 hour. Now, I can say na parang hindi masyado optimized ang uh, battery consumption ni Unisoc Tiger T618. Meanwhile, mas efficient naman. Alam naman natin, no, we have reviewed a lot of Falcom Snapdragon 680 in the past and it is battery efficient, definitely. Kasi it's a lower mid-range na battery efficient chip which can multitask and give you some, well, basic gaming experience. But still, I'll still give it to Samsung for having the big, bigger battery and longer battery life for it. Now, since na pag-usapan na natin ang gaming, both of this tablet can give you some very basic gaming experience. Now, playing Call of Duty Mobile on both of these tablet. Si Huawei, well, okay, nakapag-enjoy naman ako. But si Samsung, medyo mafe-feel mo yung mga frame drops. Though both of them has their own frame drops and lags. Pero parang mas kapansin-pansin nga lang dito sa ano, Samsung dahil sa, of course, ang kanyang processor is a Unisoc. Pag-usapan natin quickly ang kanyang mga camera. Si Samsung has a 5MP na front-facing camera and a 8MP na rear shooter. Now, see si Huawei, it has a smaller one. So, front-facing camera, 2MP, rear camera is a 5MP. Now, tingnan muna natin some quick shots from both of these tablets. Taking a look at both of these shots, pagdating dito, no, uh, pag finlash ko dito sa screen nila, you can say na si Samsung mas magandang kanyang output. But si Huawei gives you a little bit more definition. Though, even medyo mas wash out ng konti, but... For me, ah, pagdating sa definition, you can get a little bit more definition dito sa Huawei as compared dito. But of course, naturally, pagdating sa Facebook and Instagram, you'd rather post this picture rather than this one. Taking the orchid shot, I can see na mas kaakit-akit ang purple na reproduction dito kay Samsung. And medyo mas malapit to sa nakikita ko using my naked eye as compared to this one. Now, pagdating naman sa low light, I can see na... Well, it's a far cry. Mas maganda talaga ang kuha ni Samsung as compared dito kay Huawei MatePad SE 10.4. But it was the total opposite pagdating naman sa selfie camera. I can see na this one is far cry, definitely more Instagrammable than this one kay Samsung. Medyo washout naman ng kanyang front-facing camera as compared kay Huawei. This one pagdating sa Zoom, pagdating sa Viber video call, this one has the better resolution pagdating sa... Of course, uh, using it for selfie or just for video chat. 
better kay Huawei. Now, pagdating naman sa low light, I can say na mas maganda pa rin dito kay Huawei Mate Pad SE 10.4. Now, it's a split between uh, sa camera, no? Sa rear camera, maganda kay Samsung. Sa front-facing camera, maganda kay Huawei. So, it's a tie. Now, for the moment that all of you have been waiting for ang kanyang presyo. Now, si Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, it comes in two variant. Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, ang kanyang Wi-Fi edition of 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, comes with a price tag of 13990 Meanwhile, kay Huawei Mate Pad SE 10.4 naman, meron siyang dalawang variant no, doon sa entry level. Meanwhile, ang Huawei Mate Pad SE 10.4, ang kanyang LTE edition of 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, will be priced at 9999 which comes with a free na folio cover. There's another variant na Wi-Fi edition, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage comes at 9,999. Si Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage sa may uh, SIM cards na support, 18,990. Meanwhile, si Huawei Mate Pad SE, it has a 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage sa LTE version, 13,999. Guys, isipin mo, sobrang far cry. It's a 5,000 pesos difference. And this one comes with a folio case. Si Samsung, well, just a free headset. After this matchup, I can say na there's some ups si Samsung or there's some ups naman kay Huawei. But majority ng positive side, I would say na mas maraming upside dito kay Huawei. Lala sa price, sa display, and well, front-facing front camera, and a little bit of gaming, kaya niya. But of course, on the downside, the battery is not that better. Uh, then, of course, yung kanya, rear camera is, well, not that good. Now, after itong comparison, definitely, I'll tell you to get the Huawei Mate Pad SE 10.4 for having the overall better specs and more friendlier price at, well, 5,000 5, pesos less, diba? Ang dami mo pwede gawin sa 5,000 pesos. Of course, choose your tablet wisely. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss sa future uploads dito sa akin channel. So, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?